We will here present a new psychometric method to evaluate cell health and apoptosis based on the article, a novel and rapid apoptosis assay based on thial redox status. We will in the following introduce the background for the assay and demonstrate how the assay is carried out. Apoptosis is a very complex cellular phenomenon and is characterized by a number of different morphological and biochemical changes. These changes can be used to assay apoptosis. As a few examples, um, the externalization of phosphatidyl siren can be detected using fluorescently labeled annexin 5. Uh, caspase activity can be measured by different assays, such as the uh, flicker assay. Um, and um, another early phenomenon of apoptosis is the extrusion of reduced glutathione from the cell, which creates a more oxidized environment inside the cell uh, early in apoptosis. Reduced glutathione uh, is a three peptide. Glutathione exists in two forms. There's the reduced form here and the oxidized form here. The reduced form will scavenge the cells from free radicals and by doing so will become the oxidized form. And the oxidized form can be reduced back to the reduced form uh, under energy consumption uh, and in the presence of glutathione uh, reductase. And we can measure the amount of, uh, of free thiols, the thiol level, inside the cell uh, in an assay for apoptosis. Visibrite 48 reacts with reduced glutathione, but not the oxidized form, forming a strongly fluorescent product. The reaction is stoichiometric, and we can thus directly measure the level of reduced glutathione in each cell by quantifying the presence of the cell. So when running the analysis, we will stain our sample with a mixture of vitabrite 48 and propidium iodide. Propidium iodide is included in the mixture to be able to distinguish non-viable cells as non-viable cells whether they die by necrosis or apoptosis or have a low level of reduced thiols. The sample can be either um, a control or a sample induced to undergo apoptosis. When we added the stain, um, we can add it, we're ready to analyze the sample without any incubation or washing. So the sample is just uh, directly um, analyzed either by flow cytometry or as in the article using image cytometry. After the analysis, we will get histograms of the sample are above the control and below the apoptotic sample. The control have a high general fluorescence intensity uh, of the beta bright 48 staining, uh, while the apoptotic cells have a subpopulation uh, with a low level of reduced thiols and hence a low staining with beta bright 48. We we'll also see that in the apoptotic samples, there's more non-viable cells, uh, which has to be gated out before the analysis. Uh, to quantify the level of uh, apoptosis, we can insert a marker, uh, which gives us a number on um, the cells that have a low level of reduced thiols and hence are apoptotic. The image shows Jurga cells stained with annexin 5 in red, Thylax green in green, and Visabrite 48 in blue. The cells have been induced to undergo apoptosis using Camptotocin. Only non-apoptotic cells, that is cells not stained with the annexin 5 marker or Thylax green, exhibit high Visabrite presence intensity. <laughs> 